So, further, well, let's say considerations in terms of risk analysis. Uh, you've, we, you know, we've, we've looked at the assets and, and how do we value the assets, uh, but you can uh, and should also look at the, the threats. So, identify what are the threats to personnel. And, of course, that's, that comes in a variety of forms. You know, is it direct threats to them? Is it uh, uh, using them, uh, social engineering, to try and get at the enterprise by using our personnel, our employees, by uh, fooling them in, in various ways? Um, what about the, uh, the physical environment? And again, you know, we'll, we'll talk about this when we get to um, physical security itself. And uh, what, what is the environment that we're in? What, uh, you know, are we in a bad part of town? Are we in the wide open plains? Are we on a floodplain? Um, you know, so uh, what are the, the considerations in the physical environment? with regard to our information security. Um, what are our hardware and, and software systems? Uh, are there special considerations? Um, one of the presentations uh, that I do is uh, on uh, the uh, security considerations, information security considerations, uh, and, and implications from quantum computing. And uh, quantum computing is very uh, strange stuff, but uh, some of the uh, systems um, require constant power uh, because they are, you know, doing things like balancing electrons on uh, intertwined laser beams. And, and so if you, you know, if you turn off the power, you don't just lose your data or lose your processing, you lose your CPU. Uh, it's, you know, it's an interesting uh, consideration there. So, you know, what, what are our hardware and software systems? Uh, uh, you know, are we in the cloud, which uh, some people can, you know, figure, oh, we've, you know, dealt with all of our security considerations because we're in the cloud. Well, no, uh, there are uh, considerations, chief among them being you are on somebody else's computer. You are undoubtedly renting space on somebody else's computer. Are other people on that same machine, you know, and, and are, is there proper protection between you? Can they obtain your information. Can their information contaminate yours? Uh, you know, all of these things have to be uh, considered. You know, generally speaking, that, you know, simplistic type of stuff, yes, is, is being dealt with uh, by the uh, cloud providers, but you need to know that. You need to understand what they've got, uh, what protections they have. You know, what is your environment? Um, and, of course, networks these days. What are, you know, everybody's on a, a network. Everybody is connected with everybody else. And uh, what does that, what does that do? What does that say? What, um, you know, you are uh, using uh, network resources uh, to tie, you know, maybe branch offices together. Um, you are working from home these days very often. Uh, you know, lots of com networking and communication considerations. And they have to be considered. You know, what, what is this situation like? Um, uh, what are the protections available to us? What are the risks uh, in this environment? How are we using that? If we lose the network, you know, then what happens? Uh, do, do our operations come to a standstill? So, uh, you know, there's that. Uh, applications, and of course, you know, we, we are going to be going through uh, application security, uh, making sure that you properly develop, program uh, your applications so that they are secure in the appropriate ways for what you want 
to be doing with them. Uh, and, and, you know, all kinds of, of aspects of our operations. And, and you know, we're, we're going to talk about uh, operation security, uh, which tends to be a, a kind of a catch-all. Uh, but there are, you know, different areas that uh, don't fit into other uh, uh, domains that, that are addressed particularly in, in operations. Uh, what are our facilities like? Um, how secure are our facilities? Um, are uh, are they physically safe for our personnel? Again, you know, we've, uh, you know, your personnel are important. Person, if you don't think that you've got to pay attention to personnel, you do not understand security. Uh, anyways, um, so other. Threats. I mean, you know, this is not an exhaustive list, but um, you know, what do we do uh, about unauthorized access? What do we do to prevent this? Are we taking proper care? Um, you know, do we just give people blanket access? Do we give our vendors and contractors blanket access to our systems? Uh, that's not a good idea. Um, hardware failure, and again, you know, we'll talk about. Uh, business continuity planning and, and what do we do in in that regard what are our plans with regard to ensuring that uh, our you know a hardware failure doesn't bring down the whole enterprise um, utilities what about our utilities particularly power uh, again you know business continuity planning we'll talk about that um, and loss of key personnel again we'll talk about this in in Continuity planning, very important. Uh, like I say, you know, if you lose your personnel, and particularly key personnel, what are you going to do to replace that? What are you going to do to work around that? And a lot of companies had to uh, deal with that over the last little while with the uh, pandemic. So, what do we do there? Uh, human errors. Uh, what do we do about, you know, just good old mistakes? Um, neighboring hazards in, in your physical environment. Uh, so, uh, and, and, you know, talking about personnel, what do we do about tampering? What do we do about disgruntled employees? I once taught an actual, genuine, disgruntled U.S. postal worker in my class. Boy, were we careful about physical security uh, in, when we taught that domain. Um, Em emanation interception um, and well all kinds of interceptions you know there uh, used to be just electronics now you know we've got people shining laser beams through your windows onto the back of a laptop and being able to figure out your password um, you know we've we've got technologies uh, uh, that are you know if we're going to be serious about it uh we have to take real precautions. Um, safety of your personnel, you know, we talked about personnel. Uh, unauthorized use of the technology. Um, are your employees using your systems for something you don't want them used for? So all of these things need to be considered.